You guys probably know by now that I'm a bit of a fan of Arch2 Cosmetics, so I do tend to like to talk about any new products that they're coming out with. But they've kind of sneak peeked these and they've said, hey, we're coming out with some new lip oils, which kind of fun. And to be fair, they always make sure that they keep the prices quite reasonable. I have to say a massive thank you to Makeup On Your Radar. I stole their pictures because I'm a naughty, naughty thing. But let's talk about this. I love that this is very much coming from Rooks herself. Rooks, by the way, is the owner of Arch2 Cosmetics. This is the sort of thing that she's interested in because she said, lip oils are a complete obsession of mine and I want them in literally every single flavour known to man. Now, now, Rooks, we, we've seen Bertie Bot's every flavour bean. Let's maybe not have every single flavour known to man. Let's kind of rein it in ever so slightly. So here's the thing. They had a previous kind of lip oil packaging, but they changed that and they actually also kind of made it so that you could get an extra mil for the same price. So it's pretty competitive, but there's six new flavors. And this was done in collaboration with customer feedback because customers said that they wanted something sweet, but not just standard fruity flavors. And this is where we get to see how well I know my fruits. It looks like we're gonna get something that is pomegranate. There's passion fruit. Then there's cherry, coconut, grapes, and watermelon. Can I just say, I really hope that I named all of those fruits correctly because I'm now in my head as to whether or not I know these things. I mean, we've all seen that particular TikTok. But then she ended her post saying, plus I've done something really exciting with three others. This is a twist on lip oils that I haven't yet seen on the market. What? What is that? What's going on? I don't know about you, but I want to know what this twist is. I'm also like, how can you make lip oils twisty? Like, is there going to be some sort of a family drama where, like, the cherry is angry at the grape? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're going to blend things, going to make them, like, salty. But then would I want a lip oil that's salty? Probably not. I'm salty enough as it is. So if you guys know, I'm also an affiliate with the brand, blah, blah, blah. I have a code. It'll get you money off. Teresa 10, blah, blah, blah. Right. Thing is, I'm not that wildly into lip oils. I have a few that I kind of use here and there, but they're not massively my thing. But I like Artitude. So I generally find her stuff is very, very good quality. And if I'm 100% honest, the cherry one, kind of my thing. I really like cherries. But let me know down below what you guys think. Are you interested in this? Any ideas to what the twist is? <laughs> oh my God, can you imagine if it was a cheese flavor? That would be so weird. Remember the time that the brand, can't remember which, was it Nails Inc? did the cheese flavored? Yes, because they were flavored and cheese scented nail polishes. What a strange time. Rooks, please don't do that. Please don't do that.